Okay, in this video we're going to look at solving exponential functions without the use of any kind of logarithms, which we haven't gotten to yet in this chapter. Now, when I'm doing this process to solve exponential functions, our goal is to get our equations where whatever the base of the exponential function is, in this case we have a base of 6 on the left and a base of 6 on the right, I would like to have the exact same bases and everything be in the exponent of those bases. So my entire left side is in the exponent of a base 6. In this case, in the same thing with my right side, the entire right side is the exponent of a base 6. Once I get it to this point, what we will do is we'll take the exponents of these two exponential functions because the left side has to equal the right side, and I'll set the exponents equal, and then I'll go try to determine a value for x. So I'll get my x on the same side here, uh, we get 4x is equal to negative 5. Divide by 4, I get x is equal to negative 5 over 4. Okay, here in this problem, what we have is we have multiple base 2's on the right-hand side, and, or on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I just have one base 2. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the properties of exponents to combine the two base 2's on the left, so that way I only have one base 2 on the left side and everything is in this exponent. One base 2 on the right side with everything in this exponent. We're going to rewrite. So when I have the multiplication of like bases, we're going to rewrite this as one base 2, multiply like bases, add your exponent. So it becomes 2 to the x plus 3 power is equal to 2 to the 3 minus x power. And then from here, now that I have everything in the exponents of the 2, I'm going to set the exponents equal, and I'm going to go solve for x. So 2x plus 3 is equal to 3 minus x. Get everything on the same side. We get uh, 3x is equal to 0. Divide by 3, and we get x is equal to 0 here. So we use properties of exponents to condense. Remember, if you multiply like bases, you add your exponents. If I were dividing my like bases here, I would, I would use subtraction and subtract my exponents when I go to condense. And we're going to see what I'm talking about here in this next problem. So here in this next problem, I have 3 to the 3x divided by 3 to the negative 2x minus 3. Uh, power and then that equals 243. So to solve this, what we want to do is we want to rewrite everything as 3 to a power. And so we have 3 to the 3x divided by 3 to the negative 2x minus 3 is equal to 243. Well, I need to figure out what exponent power is uh, going to be applied to a 3 to create uh, 243. And what we would get is 243 is going to be 3 to the fifth power. And now once I have that, I'm going to condense the left-hand side and use my properties of exponents. So divide like bases, subtract your exponents, would so be top minus what I have on the bottom. So I have 3 to the 3x minus, in parentheses, negative 2x minus 3 as the exponent is equal to 3 to the fifth power. Now that everything is condensed into the exponents of the same bases, I can now set my exponents equal and solve the algebraic expression here for x. And we do that, and I'm out of room, so I'm going to come up over this way. Um, distribute that negative, we'd end up with 5x plus 3 is equal to 5. And we'd have uh, 5x is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 over 5. Okay, last one we have here. So I want to solve this problem without using uh, logarithms. And this one actually can be very deceiving with how it's even possible to do this without using logarithms. And what we're going to do here is we need to think about, all right, well, is there a way to rewrite this problem so that way I can maybe have an approach, because we don't have a property of exponents where I'm subtracting like bases. It's only if you're multiplying, dividing, or power to power. What we can do is I'm going to rewrite this first term, because a property of exponents states that if you have a power raised to a power, you multiply them. So 2 to the 2x is the same thing as 2 to the x power being squared. 
and I'm going to rewrite this expression as 2 to the x being squared minus 2 to the x equals 12. And I'm going to do a substitution method. So I'm going to let u equal 2 to the x power. And if I do that, what I have is I can put u's where I have 2 to the x. So I have u squared minus u is equal to 12. Now I'm going to move the 12 over. So u to the 12th power, or u to the second power, minus u, minus 12 is equal to 0. And we're going to factor this. So this is going to factor to uh, u minus 4 and u plus 3. And so I get two expressions here for you, I get, or two possibilities for you. u has to equal 4, or u has to equal negative 3. And the way we approach our, or finish this problem is because u has to be either 4 or negative 3, is I'm going to set my u equals 2x equation to both of those numbers. So I could have 4 is equal to 2 to the x power, or I could have negative 3 is equal to 2 to the x power. Well, well the negative 3 equaling 2 to the x power is an issue for us because we know that there is no real number x or value for x that I can put in the exponent of a positive 2 and make it become equal to negative 3. So that's not a viable solution for me to use to solve for x. There's no number x. So our focus goes to, all right, well, what number or numbers can I use for x to make 2 to the x become 4? Well, 4 is 2 squared. So I get 2 squared is equal to 2 to the x power. And now, just like we did before, we can set the exponents equal because we have the same base 2. And we get 2. And we get 2 is equal to x.